AJ, I play keyboards and I sing. I'm Joe and I play drums. That's it. I'm Jack, I play bass and sing. Howdy, I'm Curtis, I play guitar and sing. We're we on the Bright Light Social Hour, and this is the Vivo Gig Podcast. <laughs> awesome. I, I guess I'm, I kind of our core elements are, uh, you know, like the old kind of hard rock, kind of classic stuff, you know, and, and mixed with. Uh, old soul and kind of funk influences, along with a lot of modern sort of dance and house patterns and arrangements we use a lot too. So we really kind of just mix all that stuff together. And I mean, at least the stuff that we currently put out, I'd say, draws mostly from those elements. But we'll see where it goes in the future. Uh, Jack and I met in college at Southwestern University, Georgetown. It's north of Boston. Uh, basically, I wanted to start a band. I put out a little campus-wide email, and uh, Jack was the first person to respond to the, to the email. And uh, I was looking for like uh, some people to start kind of like a hardcore band, like old skunky, noisy, chaotic stuff. And which I was so bands. excited. And I was the only person on campus who listened to that kind of stuff. So I was like, what? I'm done. <laughs> it was weird because I had this instinct that that Jack was the one that responded to the uh, to the email because I had seen him around campus before, but never met him, and he's like. Had long hair and like a, you know like a, did you have a lip ring yeah, or nose ring? Lip, ring lip ring and you know like you know bands and stuff. He looked like the one guy on campus that might <laughs> like hardcore or something like that. For us so all I was like, man, I wonder if I wonder if it's that guy. And then sure, sure enough, like a Sunday afternoon for practice, uh, you know, he showed up and you know he started the band. So I guess for me, the the next answer would be I just saw their ads on Craigslist and that was yeah. it. And I was in a hardcore band at the time too. And um, I guess by the time, you know, it was like I was joining the band, things were like getting softer and more indie rock. So I was like, oh, I'll give these soft pussies a chance, I guess. <laughs> I partied with Jack's brother back in high school. He's so now Jack, our manager, tour manager. Tour manager, yeah. And, uh, and so we knew each other as like, you know, I knew Jack, like we would randomly party with each other back in like mom's house. And, uh, <laughs> And then from there, uh, we, you know, in school, yada, 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 years passed, and then uh, randomly Jack, like, knew I was doing music, and uh, he, like, said, you know, they might need a keyboardist, whatever, and, like, eight months passed, and I come out to a uh, Halloween show, and uh, we end up, like, partying, I, I meet everybody, and I had seen them before, like, back in the day with Alex, like, you know, That's years right, before. I was like, come out, meet the band, and, uh, check out a show, and hang out, party with us. Well, yeah, so, like, you know, show was great, whatever, and uh, and then we all partied back here afterwards, and, like, the first night, like, like these two guys that ever met me, I ended up passing out in the chair, and now, like, waking up, just all, like, destroyed and yeah. stuff, and, um... That was the proper way to start everything. So. Yeah, I remember he came, showed up to practice, and I was like, "Oh, you're the guy that passed out on the green couch." <laughs> <laughs> As a chair, oh, cool. As a chair, beautiful, beautiful chair. <laughs>